So, scientific notation. What is it? Why do we use it? Well, scientific notation is just a shorthand to rewrite um, extreme numbers. What are extreme numbers? Well, those are numbers that are really large or really small. So, let's say if I had, um, or if I'd want, if I want to write out, uh, let's say a few rules for that, um, to express something like uh, the distance from here to the sun, ninety-two million nine hundred fifty-five thousand eight hundred seven miles away. If I were doing a research paper on that or writing an art article about the sun, I wouldn't want to rewrite that out so many times. I would get a carpal tunnel syndrome. So what I'm going to want to do is, is rewrite that but in a shorthand. So first thing I'm going to do is find a decimal. And the decimal is, of course, at the end of the number right here. Second thing I'm going to do is move right or left uh, until I am able to leave one number in the ones place. What does that mean? Well, I'm going to move to the left because I'm going to leave the nine in the ones place. See? So I'm going to go one two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm going to leave this guy here in the ones place. Right? So <clears throat> I'm left with 9.295587. For four, I'm going to uh, multiply by 10 with some exponent. And the exponent is going to be places that I moved. And the exponent is also going to be positive or negative, depending on if the original number was really large or really small. All right. <clears throat> so this 9.2955807 is going to be 9.2955807 9 times 10 to the positive 7th power, since I moved 7 places and it's a positive number. Actually, it's, it's a very large number, so the uh, sign on the integer and the exponent is positive, but I, I could either put in the positive or I can just leave it blank. Um, no sign implies that it's positive. It's not really placed too well, but that's 10 to the positive seventh power. This positive goes with this guy here. All right. So <clears throat> finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, rewrite that whole number with two significant figures. You might see sometimes scientific notation uh, written with three significant figures, but Nine times out of ten, it'll just be two sig figs. Uh, they should specify on an exam if they're going to get nitpicky with taking points of um, how you need to write the final version of scientific notation. So, so this 9.2955807 is going to be 9.3 times 10 to the seventh power. There you have it. That's how you write scientific notation.
Okay, so what if I wanted to write a number that was uh, really, really small? What if I had something like 0 0.0000000065 meters, which is the length of a microprocessor. You're probably using it, actually you are using one right now on your computer. Well, first thing I need to do is find your decimal, which is right here, obviously. And then am I going to move it to the right or to the left? Well, if I want to leave one number in the ones place, I'm going to have to move it to the right because I'm eventually going to want to have 6.5. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm left with 6.5 times... I left one number in the ones place. I go to the next rule and I'm times 10 with an exponent. Well, what's my exponent? My exponent is 8 since I moved 8 places. And is this a really large number or a small number? That's a really, really, really small number. So my sign's negative. So that's 6.5 times 10 to the minus 8. I'll rewrite my units just to be on the safe side. So I don't get any points taken off of my example. 